Hi everybody, I'm Tom Summers with Coldwell Banker Burnett and welcome back. Today I want to talk about what in foreclosure means. It's a very confusing subject for a lot of different buyers as well as real estate agents because all these banks have a tendency to use different terms. So let's talk about the basics, especially if you're starting your search on, say, I don't know, a website like Zillow. What Zillow, as well as Realty Tracker and many other websites do, is they search county records. So the moment that a house falls behind in payments and the bank wants to start foreclosure proceedings on them, it automatically shows up on their website. It doesn't necessarily mean that the house has been foreclosed. It doesn't mean that the house is going to go through foreclosure. All it is is saying, look, it looks like it's headed that way. So a lot of people are seeing these um, homes on these different uh, websites and thinking, well, great, they're for sale, when in reality they're not. So if you're looking at, say, a short sale, a short sale is a situation where, let's say I have a home and I lose my job or I have a medical issue and I can no longer make my payment but my home is worth less than what I owe on it right now. I'll go to my bank and I'll say, hey, will you let me sell this home for less than what I owe, which is what creates the short. So whether there's a short sale or not, there's a redemption period. So typically what happens is when the bank uh, catches you falling behind in payments, and that depends. Some banks will let you go six months, some will let you go 45 days and they're sending out letters. But let's say you fall three or four months behind and the bank comes to you and says, look, if you don't pay up in the next 60 days, we are going to start foreclosure proceedings. What that looks like is they will have a sheriff sale. And at that sheriff sale, which is usually four to six weeks out from this notification, they will purchase the rights back to the house. Once they do so, they are sitting with that for the next six months, which is the redemption period for the property, meaning that the current owner if they want to, could pay all the back interest, all of the back payments, and any attorney's fees to get back up to on track again to keep a house up until the end of that six month period. Once that window comes up and that last day hits, at that point it now becomes a fully foreclosed home. So in foreclosure can mean short sale, it could mean during redemption period, it can also mean pre-foreclosure before they even have had the sheriff sale. But once the bank takes it back, then it's fully foreclosed. You can't just call the bank and say, hey, I saw a house that was foreclosed, I want to buy it. They don't want to deal with me, they don't want to deal with you, they don't want to deal with the general public. They already have an asset manager and they already have a, a typically some type of real estate agent that's assigned to take care of this bank property. Here's the rub though that you need to know. Let's say May 1st is the end of the redemption period on this property that you love. And it gets to full foreclosure and is not redeemed, so now the bank owns it. They don't have any legal um, expectation to put the property up the next day. They could sit on it for two weeks, six weeks, six months before they put that home back up for sale and there's no rhyme or reason to it. So all you can do is work with a qualified real estate agent that keeps an eye out for that particular property. So just to kind of go back again real quick, it's not a fully foreclosed home until the redemption period is up after the sheriff's sale and now the bank fully owns the home. So anytime you hear short sale, in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, anything like that, it's not fully foreclosed yet and there is somebody else that actually owns the home. So when you're looking at these different websites and you see in foreclosure, it doesn't necessarily mean that that house is for sale. This is creating a lot of problems for a lot of buyers because it's confusing. Be aware of this, be a smart buyer, help uh, yourself out by getting all this information and learning more about the process. Thanks again for tuning in and have a great day.